Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. So, this video is about... Obviously, if you guys are looking at this, this is the Top Don Audilink 200 CAN OBD2 code reader. So, as you guys can read this, it's for all 1996 and newer OBD2 compliant vehicles. And this is what the back looks like for all 1996. Yep, read that. DYIs with easy, quick access, diagnostic, trouble codes, and other blah, blah, blah. Works on 1996 new and compliant vehicles. Reads and clears diagnostic codes. Supports multiple trouble code requests, generic codes, pending codes, and manufacturer-specific codes. Retrieves vehicle ID on 2002 and newer vehicles. Easy to read. Crystal clear, backlit, two-line LCD display. Standalone until... Unit with no need for additional laptop, blah, 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 blah powered by via hooks up to your car. You don't need a battery for it. So basically, this is, um, now, to be honest with you, I don't know too much about Top Don. Um, this is the cheapest model, which sells for about 19 bucks. And obviously, as you guys can see, I have not opened this up yet. So this is going to be an unboxing as much uh, you know whatever unboxing is for this thing because um, I'm just gonna be taking out and this is what you see is what's uh, in in this little package in this package so I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna give you guys my assessment of it this is gonna be uh, an unboxing and a review all right guys so I took it out <clears throat> out of the package this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and uh, comes with a user's manual. I don't know if you guys ever had one of these. Obviously, um, this is one of the simpler ones. It doesn't actually catch every single or any issue. Okay, this is good for if you guys have a check engine light issue and you guys need to, need to read the codes for it. It's not going to pick up in... As far as I can tell, it's not going to pick up any other issues outside of that. But, um, you know, always good to keep around if uh, you guys... Always good to keep around because uh, you guys know if you guys go to a mechanic shop, um, they'll either do it for free or they'll charge you like 40, 50 bucks for it. It kind of depends on where you go to. But um, let's see how this works. Just off the bat, it's plastic. This is rubber right here. All right, it's, I mean, most of the uh, ODB2 sensors are, you know, of this level of OBD2 sensors are pretty much the same. I got this maxi scan from uh, Home Depot, not the Home Depot, I got this from Walmart. Got this for 19 bucks, maxi scan uh, MS309. It's got two buttons, enter, exit, scroll, Obviously, this one right here, you know, the enter and exit button are two separate buttons, and the scroll buttons are two separate buttons. Otherwise, they'd be the same. Now, if they actually put uh, enter and exit in one button, on one button, and this in, uh, and the scroll on one button, it'd be the same. All right. Uh, this thing was made in China, like most things are made in China. Um, I don't know too much about AudiLink. I don't know too much about TopDon, which is the manufacturer of this, but. I'm just gonna give you guys, I'm just gonna plug this in and show you guys what it picks up. All right guys, so I plugged it in and obviously this looks very similar. To this whole setup right here, this screen looks very similar to my MaxiScan uh, MS309 um, OBD2 reader, but I'm gonna press enter to scan and this looks exactly like what Okay, so codes found, zero monitors, not available. Uh, read co codes, erase codes, view freeze frame, I am readiness. Uh, no codes restored in module. Uh, okay, guys, so this is pretty much a simple display. Nope, don't want to re erase codes. Okay, view freeze frame. You go info, enter. Whoop, don't want to show that. All right, guys, so basically, 
basically, um, it actually didn't pick up my VIN. But regardless, this OBD2 reader is pretty much the same. Well, yeah, I'm gonna say like the whole entire from the whole entire software as far as the display and stuff like that. No, let me just exit out of here. It's pretty much the same, guys. I mean, the whole display is pretty much the same. I don't, you know what? I don't know if they actually use the same software from. I don't know if all these. I don't think they do, but it's it. The, the whole display from from what I've seen is pretty much the same. So, look at this. All right, so this is the Altel ver version, as you guys can see. That screen looks the same. You know, that screen kind of looks the same. So, I mean, I've only had this one, and this one actually reads. Uh, I, you know, let me see if this one actually does um, get the VIN number. Yeah, I'm gonna. 